Welcome to the Sales Influence Podcast, where we talk about finding the why in how people buy. I'm your host, Victor Antonio. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for lending me your ears. By the way, if you haven't checked out our Sales After Dark program, go online, check out some of the content I'm putting out on Sales After Dark, and also, obviously, the Sales Influence Podcast. Anyway, today I want to talk about something cool. Kind of personal cool, not big cool for you maybe, but personal cool. Now, in one of my past podcasts, I was interviewed and I talk about how I really love old samurai movies like Japan samurai movies, like 1950s, 60s samurai Akira Kurosawa type of samurai movies. I'm just a fanatic. I can't explain it. So somebody on LinkedIn Uh, sent me an article that he thought I'd be interested in. Now, I thought that was so nice. That's so cool when somebody hears you on a podcast and then actually sends you something that you're interested in. So I mentioned this on the podcast interview that I like these samurai movies, and he sent me this article. He said, Victor, I think you'd be interested in this article. Just thought of you. Now, see, that's connecting. Now, that is connecting. Anyway, the title of the article is called Become a Business Samurai with Musashi's Five Powerful Lessons by Luis Romero off of Forbes magazine. Now, let me just kind of describe. It'll be worth your time. Just listen listen in. I'm going to tie it into influence and persuasion. You just have to really just kind of let me get the preamble on this one going. So in the 17th century Japan, in 17th century Japan, I'm reading some of the article here, there was a samurai so skilled that myths started to grow about him while he was still alive. After his death, he became a legend of supernatural skills with the sword. His name was Miyamoto Musashi, and he is known to have gone undefeated after more than 60 duels. Interestingly, not only was Musashi a master swordsman, he was also a poet, an artist, and philosopher. I got to be honest, I didn't know that. So impressive was the range of his skills that near the end of his life, Upon request from his disciples and supporters, he wrote a book containing what he considered to be the ideal qualities of a samurai. The premise of the book is that of a samurai master must explore all crafts and have a proper understanding of all trades in order to be the best possible warrior. Hang in there, I'm getting to the good part. This is The Book of Five Rings, a martial arts manuscript with lessons from every walk of life, including business. Now, in order to understand the business application, here we go. Of The Book of the Five Rings, we must first understand its origin in Japanese culture and the martial arts. The book is divided into five chapters based on the five elements of Japanese Buddhism, earth, water, fire, wind, and emptiness. Hmm, interesting one. Being a martial artist myself, not me, the uh, the author, Luis Romero, he says, I will attempt to summarize each chapter's core martial arts teaching as follows. So I'm going to give you the five rings here, so to speak, and then let you and I talk about how we could apply that to business. The first one is earth. A samurai must have rigorous knowledge of swordsmanship with practice and discipline, stand firmly, and keep good balance. Now, if we just stop there, if we could translate that into business, what we're talking about is really knowing your business, right? Really understanding your industry and what's going on, maybe even your product and how it compares to our competitors. That's earth, water. A samurai must be able to move his body and handle his sword in a fluid yet overwhelming fashion. Now, this is, again, you almost have to use your own rhythm and um, and your own style in order to defeat your opponent. Now, this water piece is really interesting to me because I think in business, especially in selling, you have to have your own balance. You have to sell the way you sell. You have to have a way of being fluid, water fluidity. You know, reminds me of that uh, Bruce Lee line, right? Be like water, flow like water. Whatever, you know, if you're poured into a vase, water takes the shape of a vase. If it's poured into a bucket, it takes the shape of a bucket. Be like water, be fluid. And in today's market, that's ever more important. With everything going on right now, we have to be like water. The third one, fire. A samurai must be vigorous, able to move quickly in any direction, strike his sword cleanly at any angle, and shift directions in the blink of an eye, thus forcing his opponent to retreat and make mistakes. Fierceness is key to creating opportunities and seizing them. 
Now, when I read fire, I think about this. I think about how do we execute on a plan? And then how do we execute with decisiveness, with intention? In other words, when we decide to do something, let's step back. Earth is understanding your market, your products, your competition. Water, being able to adapt. Fire is all about execution. How do you do it with intent? With a certain, as he says, fierceness in order to seize on an opportunity. Like maybe you're thinking about something you want to do. And if you're going to do it, make sure you do it with decisiveness. Number four, wind. A samurai must be alert of his surroundings in order to use topography, weather, lights, shadows to his advantage, while also learning from his opponent so as to use his skill against him. Now, this is interesting. Wind to me represents what's going on in the market. Ooh. Like the winds can blow from any direction, and we have to be able go back to water to adjust. So the wind piece is really understanding what's happening in the market, the changes that are occurring, all this stuff we have to take into consideration. So, so far we know that we have to have product knowledge and understanding of our market. That's earth, water, be fluid in our thinking. Three, fire, be fierce in our intent. Be direct, be intentional. Four, look out for what's changes in the market, the different winds that are approaching us, what's changing, what's working, what's not, what trends are happening, and how do we adjust. But the last one was interesting. Emptiness. Hmm, emptiness. Once a samurai has mastered the combat techniques resulting from the first four elements, he must then, here comes a key phrase, let go of everything he knows by forsaking any preference for one technique over the other. The samurai master must become one with his sword, contemplate all techniques, and choose the best technique at every single moment until victory is achieved. Now, the line I love there is that you have to let go of everything, forsaking any preference. Now, this is interesting because one of the challenges business people face today is their inability to let go of the past specifically. We're going through this pandemic, and we now know that virtual selling, for example, or business in general, virtually is now part of our portfolio of marketing strategies and selling. But a lot of people are having a hard time letting go. They can't empty themselves and say, what can I now do to sell? It isn't about the preference of either strategy. It's about which strategy applies to what we're currently going through. You look at earth, we need to know new knowledge. We have to acquire new knowledge. Water, we have to be fluid in our thinking. Fire, we have to be intentful. In other words, we have to go after something with intent. We have to be very fierce. We have to be very aggressive. We have to have commitment. That's a big one. And the win is always understanding the changes that are happening, whether it's day to day, week to week, month to month, or quarter to quarter. We have to make the adjustments by first understanding what those changes are. Being empty represents understanding what you need to do in that moment that you're in now. In other words, your business is struggling right now. What's going on? We need to make the adjustments and be able to let go of past ways of doing things in order to be successful today. So again, the article is called Become a Business Samurai with Musashi's Five Powerful Lessons by Luis Romero. Great article. Because I'm such a samurai fan, I really enjoyed this article. So uh, I, I can't tell you how excited I was when I read this. I was like, yes, this makes sense. I'll probably do a follow-up specifically for selling, comparing it to the five rings. And again, I hope you got something out of this. Very different from what I usually do, but I thought you might enjoy this. And on that note, this is Victor Antonio. Let me know what you think about this article. Let me know what you think about this kind of plan, this, this five ring plan of attacking the market and going to market with your business or your product or your service. And again, leave some feedback on iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube. Uh, you know where to find me, Spotify, Pandora. I'm all over the place. Also, when you get a moment, check out the article, but more importantly, check out the Sales Velocity Academy. We just added some new courses to help you sell more effectively faster. And lastly, this is Victor Antonio, always reminding you, Selenate hard when you know how. Take care. Hi, I'm Victor Antonio. I'm an author, sales trainer, and keynote speaker. I'm often asked, what makes a great speaker? Is it someone who delivers real content that the audience can use? Is it someone who engages the audience so they're part of the learning experience? Or is it someone who can motivate an audience to push them beyond their comfort zone and discover new abilities? The answer is yes. 
But the most important thing to remember is that I'm not there to look good. I'm there to make my client look good. Simply put, it's never about me and it's always about them.